Hello my soccer universe. So Chelsea is the Europa League winner and I couldn't be happier. Again, not necessarily that I'm uh, so much for Chelsea or Arsenal, although I'm now blocking out Arsenal. Seems to be fair to the winner, all the spoils, to the loser. We usually forget about them. No, we shouldn't forget about Arsenal. They played their part in this final, so... Um, but mostly I'm very happy because these guys here are now guaranteed at least a spot in the Europa League group stage. As is Lyon, uh, who are in the Champions League group stage. So France has three teams in the Champions League next year. Um, which they had, uh, had uh, this past season as well. So yeah, uh, that's really the good news for me. Uh, it even goes so far that, you know, I'm wearing now my Chelsea away jersey. I was not wearing that during the game. I was wearing during the game, I was wearing an England, my England home shirt from the last World Cup. And I decided to keep the two jerseys up because it's such a nice background with the red and the blue jersey as they played uh, in Baku. Uh, okay, so let's get to the game. I made extensive notes to be a little bit better, uh, better prepared for this one and, you know, to not really miss anything. Um, the first thing that I noted is when I saw the Czech is playing and they put in some statistics of his and as and my first thought was, did he really win all his trophies with Chelsea? And this is his last game for Arsenal and then he's switching over to Chelsea into management. That doesn't sound like a good move from Arsenal's side. And he really, except for an FA Cup, he won everything, uh, every serious uh, trophy that he ever won. He won, of course, with Chelsea. He's a Chelsea legend, now he's playing uh, for Arsenal. Um, the other th thoughts that were more on the um, setup of the stadium, there were clearly a few empty spots, uh, sold out my ASS, as you uh, can imagine, so it was clear, Arsenal or, or said that they returned uh, almost 2,000, or more than 2,000 tickets from the 6,000 they were allotted, and I'm not sure, uh, Chelsea, we didn't hear anything, and that's one thing that I have to say um, with our Arsenal, there were a lot of negativity coming towards this final from the Arsenal camp, uh, until yesterday when the uh, training uh, where uh, Egoin and uh, David Luiz got at each other and then Sari stormed off uh, kind of mad, you didn't hear anything negative coming from um, the Chelsea camp, whereas Arsenal was moaning and blah, 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 yeah, I understand this with Mkhitaryan is an absolute disgrace, I am not all that happy with how they're doing it, uh, it's giving it to Azerbaijan, because Azerbaijan has a lot of money, this stadium will see a quarterfinal of the Euros next year, have that in mind um, as well. But yeah, um, I thought it was a little bit too much whining from our, our Arsenal, that might backfire to them. Although then again I thought Arsenal has a lot more incentive playing this game than Chelsea. Because they are not yet in the Champions League. Chelsea just would play for glory and for Sarri's first title, which he got. Um, of course there was the typically uh, opening ceremony crap that's... I'm sorry. My wife said that the dancers were very badly dressed, you don't even see how they're moving well because it's all baggy clothes and so on. I thought it was badly choreographed and you know not my type of music in any way. Uh, lineups, as I said, check was interesting. I also, you know, of course you had Ozil and you had the uh, big two on front. Uh, for Chelsea, for me, the biggest one was uh, not not that Christensen was <laughs> playing in the back, uh, but Kovacic was playing. Why Kovacic? Kovacic was born in my hometown Lint, <laughs> and he played for Lusk in his youth before he made this big career with Inter, Real Madrid, and now Chelsea. Not that he has been a vital player for either of these teams, but today I actually thought he had a really good game. Okay, first half, Arsenal kicks off and, you know, it was a tentative start, but you could see that after 5-6 minutes that Arsenal is actually trying to take the initiative and uh, Chelsea was clearly saving back. It was a, you know, it didn't take as long as in some finals uh, that the teams get used to each other because, of course, they know each other inside out. But it did take some time for the game to get going. Um, and then in the ninth minute was the first real chance where um, 
I think it was a crossing from Lacazette that Kepa with the fist puts towards the edge of the box and Obama Young takes a shot and just misses. Uh, although he, if he would have put this on goal, this would have gone in. So this was the first big chance. It was from a roughly 12 me meters. Uh, then I also thought that Chelsea, when they came in, in front, they were kind of inaccurate. Uh, they still were not quite working well together. So tentative start. Um, a lot of free kicks and so on that were not going <laughs> anywhere. Also corner kicks. Uh, Arsenal quickly had uh, two or three corner kicks. I think it was 2-0 uh, and then 3-1. All the first few corner kicks, there was no danger coming from them. However, uh, the big, um, a big scene in the 18th minute, possible penalty. Lacazette uh, is played clear. He has a run at goal, but probably puts the ball a little bit too far. Kepa comes out, misses the ball and probably touches Lacazette slightly, but Lacazette was already past him. So I think it was okay that the penalty was not given. However, I think no one could complain if that penalty would have, would have been given on Lacazette. So that was uh, the first really iffy scene in the match. Um, and I think at the half, uh, half point of the first half, Arsenal was pressing high, forcing errors from uh, Chelsea uh, and had the bet of the game. I think it was the first 30, 30 minutes, roughly, I said, advantage Arsenal. There was another good chance uh, right at 27 minutes. Uh, Shaka took a shot at goal from, and from from a distance. I mean, no one was kind of closing him down. Uh, takes a shot and it kisses the upper side, side of the bar. At that point, if Arsenal would have taken the lead, it would not have been undeserved. But right with that shot, the game switched. The momentum shifted. Um, and there was like a first slight chance where suddenly Kante uh, plays to Giroud, but it is blocked by Socrates. Um, uh, what else? Then, you know, there were a few count, there were two counter situations. And again, so Socrates hanging in there. And then there were two clear chances from Chelsea. In the 34th, um, it was again a nice pass, passing move. Um, there were um, Emerson. Yeah, it was Emerson's. Uh, gets a shot on goal that is saved by Czech. Uh, that with a little bit more direction could come in. And four minutes later, another nice attacking move. Uh, Giroud after a um, nice pass move again via Azar, who really started to take over the game at this point. Uh, probably should have made it, may, may made a goal, but it didn't happen. But and I wrote down that after Chelsea got the third corner, they equalized. I think on corners at halftime. Yes, they did. Uh, that. Azar is taking over the game. Uh, he was binding three uh, players at times and you know with his very smooth um, ball control and quick feet, I mean it's not messy like but almost there. Uh, really uh, getting a lot, a, lot, a lot of tension and always uh, looking for the one to with uh, almost preferably Giroud but also with Pedro and so on. So there was a lot of stuff going on. Um, so yeah, it was actually overall a good match. It was not that there were huge chances, but it opened up after this shot by Shaka. Suddenly Chelsea opened up and Chelsea came out um, and had then even the better chances, uh, even slight, slightly better position. So halftime rolls around with the nice realization that the second half kicks off at midnight local time. This is, in my view, I know we broadcast the final for all of Europe, and so 9 o'clock is probably a preferred time, although I still think in those locations, played at 7, played at 8. I have pollen coming, that's why my nose is kind of biting and itching me and all that kind of stuff, so sorry about that. Hope it doesn't bother you too much. It bugs me at the moment. <laughs> uh, and I'm thinking, yeah, why don't we play the Europa League final? Why have people also that late? I mean, I know it's, yeah, it's even a weeknight, so there are not that many people. I think it's good that we have the Europa League final now uh, in the same week as the Champions League final, uh, because it was dangling a little bit too much, in my opinion. Well, first, second half starts out more or less as the uh, 
first half ended and we quickly got our goal. It was in the 49th minute after already a chance, a chance by Giroud uh, that was uh, blocked by Koscielny and at the same time, you know, it was a nice pass of Hazard into uh, Giroud and Hazard actually really blocked off by a defender. Could have been a penalty, potentially. I um, don't want to say uh, it was... It, do, it is a must give, but you know, similar to, 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 to the first one, it is clearly a foul. If the referee sees it, I think no one can complain. Speaking of um, Azar, in the halftime, it also came through that seemingly the English Yellow Press uh, is reporting that Chelsea has agreed to the fee and Azar is uh, moving to Real Madrid in the summer, which is kind of the worst kept secret in Europe anyway. And then for the ninth minute, Giroud, it was a cross by Emerson coming in and Giroud with an absolute great header, puts it into net, no chance for check. Uh, he's of course not celebrating because he wants, doesn't want to offend the Arsenal fans. I'm getting tired of this. It was nice the first time it came, came around, but now I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, celebrate. Be happy you scored a goal. It's a European Cup final. You can celebrate. You don't won't offend any, anyone. You will offend anyone if you go to the Arsenal be like, ha, 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 ha. But you can celebrate. Yes, you have more, maybe had a good time at Arsenal, but still. I didn't. I, I'm getting a little bit ticked off for, for, for the whole thing. And then after that goal, it took Arsenal maybe one or two minutes to get uh to collect themselves, but then Arsenal actually tried to become a little bit more active. Uh, they tried to look for Aubameyang, like I said, a little bit Özil, but Özil had a very quiet game. He At the beginning of the first half, maybe there was a little bit more Özil, but then he kind of faded off into anonymity, which unfortunately is something that he's wont to do at times. Um, I think there was a throw into Lacazette into the box that was in the end no danger. And then actually uh, a very weird thing, the only yellow card as far as I remember of the entire match. Uh, Pedro is as a counter-attack, he is felt, he wants the foul, he doesn't really get it. He is slamming on the end, running away. <laughs> the referee sees and you know, Italian refs, they don't like that. He gets a yellow card. I think it was a ridiculous yellow card, but he gets that yellow card. And seemingly that was enough. I mean, there Arsenal had a little bit of a, a period where they were trying to get something, but uh, didn't really have a good chance. I mean, this uh, one situation with, uh, after throwing was the biggest one. And in the 60th, then uh, Chelsea, I mean, it was not a pure counter, but again, uh, Liberating themselves, move moving forward, great passing move. Um, Kovacic has the ball, plays it out to Azar, he plays it into Pedro, who can slam it in at 60th minute. Um, we're done. At least at that moment, I thought that that's the game. 2 0 should be safe. Uh, got even better at 64th, penalty given for Chelsea, Azar slots home. Uh, it was, I think, Maitland Niles uh, who kind of ramped. Um, Giroud to the ground after pass by Pedro. Azar in the 65th makes the penalty and gives like a parting gift to Chelsea. Game done and dusted. Or maybe not. At the same time, Iwobi comes on. Uh, and who else? Gwenduzi. And Iwobi, three minutes after being substituted in, there was um, the ball goes in the Chelsea's box is, is seemingly cleared or played out and Ivo just takes the ball over everyone shoots it into the net three one and at that moment you thought a little bit game on Arsenal thought this is our chance now and I was thinking no we don't need a miracle I've seen enough miracles I don't want to have another miracle I want Lusk play the Europa League I want Chelsea to win this very comfortably um, and fortunately. Chelsea kind of realized we don't want to have this momentum swing and just three three minutes later after a nice pass by Giroud again a one to Azar Giroud Azar into the net 4-1 thank you very much that was the game uh, more goals could have been scored I think Arsenal had a few uh, good chances but in the end 
they didn't make any more. Um, also, Chelsea ran, ran a little bit riot. I could also have. I mean, at first I thought it was that um, Chelsea could have made a fifth probably. But then uh, going the last 10 minutes, Arsenal had two or three chances that with a little bit more luck, they uh, could have made another goal. But it was not to be. Chelsea raises the trophy. I found it also interesting that after the game, you could see that the teams know each other quite well. And I have a feeling that the players, even amongst each other, uh, they're not like separated out. They, they also have private connections because it was very, very friendly. Yes, Chelsea celebrating, but it was very friendly between the two teams. Very civil. Uh, it was actually not, a, it was a really nice final. I mean, only one yellow card as far as I can remember. So yeah, Sari wins his first trophy ever. And uh, Una Emery loses an Europa League final, also unheard of. So uh, that was something really interesting uh, to note. Also, uh, the last three European trophies, no, not true, but three European trophies have been won under Italian managers. First one, Viali, the Cup Winners' Cup, the Champions League under Di Matteo, and now under Sari, the Europa League. Um, I think his hitting was when they last won the Europa League in 2013, actually, final that I saw. When this was the first final that I saw when we came back from America to Austria. I think this was one of the first or second day that, that, that we were back. I remember that final quite, quite well. Well, that's it. Chelsea are your champions. I'm honestly happy, not necessarily for Chelsea, but that we're going to see Europa League, at least Europa League. I mean, if we see Champions League, I'm going to go absolutely nuts. But we see at least Europa League next year in Linz. What does this make for me? I'm at the moment looking, getting a cheap Chelsea shirt. Uh, I'm not 100% serious about it for the simple reason that I have already two Chelsea shirts. The only reason is that I don't like this logo as much as I like the current one. And so that's why I'm looking. I found a nice one here for 15 euros. That's the 14, 15 one. And it's a long sleeve, so that might make it even more interesting, but I'm not sure if I should get it. I ordered today already four shirts. Um, so that might be a little bit too much. I saw also one for 10. I actually like this one too, but you know, I'm not 100% whether it's the right thing for me to do because I have two Chelsea shirts. And I think of all for club teams, I have kind of this rule, a home and away of teams that I sympathize Going past the two jersey threshold means I really like a, a, a team. And to be honest, I like Ajax a lot more than I do like Chelsea. I have only two Ajax shirts, so that would not feel quite fair. I mean, now I have three Barcelona shirts. Um, I'm not that big of a Barcelona fan, but you, I, I, I would say of the teams that realistically can win a championship, like they would be my favorite at the moment. But yeah, that's a topic for another video. Let me know what you thought about the Europa League uh, final. Uh, what you think, whether you also benefited from Chelsea winning or not. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.